Hey guys, so um, earlier this week I got a uh, message uh, in, in off of Facebook and uh, I was contacted by Adriana Sutherland. Now Adriana uh, has come up with this fantastic product that I'm really, really excited to uh, experiment with and um, it's called Love Life. And I got it in a package today. I was really excited after my crappy morning to come home and find this in my mailbox so that I could pour and actually press record on the video so that you can see me create another ninja swipe. Now, when I do my ninja swipes, I need a large amount of space and a lot of that space needs to be protected. Hence my doggy piddle pads, the idea I got from Julie Cuts. She uses them all the time. They're great, they're disposable. I know somebody, and I think it's Wanda Toll maybe, actually reuses hers. I have yet to figure that out. I don't know if I'm supposed to rinse it. They don't go in the wash, obviously. But with that being said, my workspace for a Ninja Swipe is rather broad. And <clears throat> because the paint can go flying. I've had some end up in the sink, on the floor, on the counter. So I always have my workspace covered and I work in my kitchen. So this is my workspace right here. With that being said, we are going to open up what we have here. So we have a little beautiful shimmery envelope. Cute card. And in inside it says, uh, Sarah, I'm super excited to hear what you think about these products. Warm regards, Abby. So, we are gonna give this a go tonight. But I wanted to do the opening video of the product. So this is uh, what seems to be a hard plastic scraper, which is great because I do use my bits that drip over the edge and I sometimes put them on the painting like I did the other night. But this is nice, it's durable. I like this hook here. You might be able to hang that, which is really, really smart. And then, I might need scissors. Nope, I won't. Okay, look at this sticker. Love life. So very cool. Um, but when you read it straight away, it's lolly thief. So, Lolly Veef. Yeah, there you go. L-O-L-I-V-E-F-E. -I -I -E. So, anywho. Here is a wonderful silicone mat here. And I think this is great because when I use my Ninja tool or my spatulas to mix my paint, you flip it around and you rest it right there. All my drippings end up on here. And because it is silicone, very flexible. Getting the paint off of this will be super easy. So that's that's fantastic. That way nothing's resting. You don't want any debris getting on them. I know I've had cat hair get on it <laughs> from resting it, but this is this is really fantastic. So that is that. Now, from what I've read. This is just shy of 24 inches by 32 inches, which is a really big range for what I work in here. We're just gonna put this right there. We'll move this over here. All right, let's get this open. And this is silicone, obviously, also. This is a jumbo silicone mat. Nicely packaged. Gonna roll it right out. It almost covers my whole workspace. It actually, it pretty much does because I don't really have this area covered by a canvas. So we are gonna, we'll just throw that over there for now. Anyways, so we're gonna put this down. This is great. I am really excited to use this. I love the love life here or the lolly beef. Let me bring you guys in so that you can see all of this. 
check it out. Love Life or Lolly Beef, whichever way you want to read it. Uh, but this is uh, really nice. It's great. Um, I like it. I'm excited. This is going to be so much fun to work with tonight when I do my pour. You know, look at that. Everything stands up. There's not going to be a mess anywhere. Um, so that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hi guys. So I'm working with a 20 by 24 canvas and I've coated it with um, black and that is the Artist Low, uh, Artist Loft Flow Black. I'll show it to you in just a minute, but I mixed it uh, two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And here it is right there. And then I put a little squirt of it, of, well, a little squirt of the uh, Stuart Semples Black 2.0 that I have uh, laying around. I know he came out with a three, they came out with a 3.0 now, um, but I've got plenty of 2.0 in this house. So uh, I'm gonna just darken up my black with this right here. Okay, so what I want to do is put a little more right here. I saw that it was a bit thin down to the canvas right there. So it's fairly thick black paint that I'm using. There's no water in it. All right. Okay. So I did a pour this morning and I had not pressed the record button hard enough so it did not record. So I'm slightly upset about that. I varnished a painting that I absolutely loved that I was excited to put in a show and while mixing my paints this morning I forgot that it was sitting outside breathing. Um, I use a spray varnish. I'll get it for you. Hold on one second. Um, it's high gloss. And Nope, that's not it. I'll have to show you guys. It's outside. Um, as I used it tonight to coat a couple of paintings. But I use Rust-Oleum's 2X clear gloss spray varnish. And uh, I do one coat and then I do another coat after that and it's perfect. It has a UV protectant in it. Um, I haven't had any yellowing problems, which is wonderful. And uh, yeah, that's it. So anyways, I had, paint, I had uh, varnished a painting this morning, forgotten it was out there. And when I did that, I was mixing paints for my morning pour and totally forgot it was out there. By the time I realized it, right before I poured, I ran out and I grabbed it and lo and behold, it had fogged over in some areas. So it is somewhat destroyed right now. I'm hoping I can sand it down. I've had some uh, friends, you know, look up some stuff for me. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to save it. But if not, it's a loss. It's very sad. <laughs> but with that said, I had also, in my frantic worry about this painting, totally forgot to really press the bu record button well. So it's, it has not been a good start of the day. It is now night and I have definitely pressed record. And I'm going to do another painting. I've added a couple colors. I'm using white um, by Artist Loft and that is mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I'm using Deco Arts 24K Gold mixed um, equal parts of each. Uh, this is the Arteza Bordeaux Red, which I absolutely love. This is mixed 200 milliliters of Floetrol to, um, I think it's, oh good lord, I don't even know anymore, uh, 22 milliliters of the, the paint. 
so it made a lot. Um, I'm gonna put this here. I'm not sure if I wanna use these other colors now. I might eliminate a few. This is um, Color Shift Blue Flash, equal parts Floetrol to paint. This is actually a Fluorescent Violet by Blick Acrylic. Um, two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And this here is Metallic Sapphire by Art Minds. And that is also mixed um, like one and a half parts Floetrol to one part paint. So I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna use my bright aqua green or the turquoise I had gotten out. We're not gonna worry about those right now. I don't wanna turn everything into mud. Um, underneath my canvas is the Love Life Lolly Thief um, silicone mat, which I'm really excited about, in case you haven't noticed. Um, in my previous video that I did, that I attached to this video. Um, so I'm just making a bullseye of my colors. I really love this violet against this red. And I think I'm gonna use white again. Gold. Using a lot of colors here and a lot of paint. There's no water added to my paints at all. It's so pretty. So we'll see how it how it turns out. All right, I think that's enough. It looks like a lot, and it is. <laughs> so, I say so a lot, huh? Anywho. And anywho, I say a lot as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way before that becomes collateral damage. Porch it before I make it fly. Eek. I want to get that up. There we go. I'm gonna move this around a little bit. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna do that. Not sure what's going on right here. May have lifted a little too much paint. Oh, look at that. So cool.
lots of twists in here. I love how the paint twists when you flip it in the air. Right in here, this is a large twisted area. Love how you can pick up paint right off of the mat. I'm gonna take it right off. I'm not crazy about it, so I'm gonna let it drain right off, which is great because I'll be able to use that paint now after rinse my hand off real quick. Just a little bit. Okay. It's looking like a hot mess. I need to fix that up a bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. How does it look to you guys? It's so weird having this mat underneath to catch everything and to see everything just sit there and it'll be great when they all dry, the skins dry and I can send them to Rinsky. So, if you guys have not been sending your skins to Rinsky, she's doing a project called One Skin and I just think it's a great idea. We should totally be doing that. I'm not even sure what to do. There's a lot going on in this one. Almost too much. Like I use too much, too many different colors and too much paint, which obviously can happen because this is living proof. underneath there. I love this mat. Absolutely love it. I am so thankful. Thank you so much, Adriana, for sending this. Um, you guys also can get mats. Um, I will put the link to her site, or the mat for that matter, um, in the description of the video. that you can buy one also. I highly advise getting one. I mean, this, this is fantastic. So, let's see here. I think what I'm gonna do is bring in some black right here.
course, we're gonna do some of this. Here, let me torch. I don't want to screw up anything that's hiding underneath. I love the cells that are developing in here. Do like that. See some cells popping up, which I love. love adding these little details. I 
loving this. I'm just gonna play with this a little bit longer, guys, and you know, you can. almost done. And I just don't know where I'm going with this, but this looks like a flower. So I think what I'm going to do is work with a paintbrush if I could find one. There's one in my pile of stuff over here. <laughs> Taking over the sink too, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is a few more. All right, well, I'm gonna play with it some more, um, but I'll bring you guys in. You've been patient this whole 25 minutes. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a little more with it 
detail wise. But this one has turned out so pretty. Wasn't crazy about all the uh, colors that I've uh, mixed up here, but I think it's actually pretty much working in the long run. Here's one of my twists. This one is a big twist. And the colors are so pretty. So this is what I see. And it may not look like much, but I see these are those leaves coming up and over. More leaves over here or a petal. I feel like this is the heart of the uh, piece and everything just leads to that. And I just love this area right here. They look like soft petals. So, but um, I wanna thank you guys for being so patient and watching this turn into something more than a possible scrape. Um, you guys have a great night. I'm glad I remembered to press record this time. <laughs> Bye.